Hey gang, Carl White here, and I'm here for your quick hit. All right, so the idea behind these quick hits, how do I get new leads that'll close like right now, Carl? This is a really good one, and I'm gonna give you a cheat sheet here uh, uh, in just a second. You're gonna wanna copy this cheat sheet. So there's no better way to get business than from people that's already sampled what you can do, right? So I've always thought of like, like you go to the mall and they're giving out chicken teriyaki and you taste a little bit of it. You go, man, that was some awesome chicken teriyaki. I think I'll buy some now. This kind of works the same way. And you're likely doing a version of this, but I'm gonna give you a little twist on this, which includes this cheat sheet that you want, and I'm gonna give to you, uh, that'll make it even better and faster results for you. Here's the quick hit. So you get a contract in, meet with the listing agent. Now, most loan officers make the mistake, in my opinion, and they meet with that, close, that listing agent either at the closing table or they call up the listing agent and say, hey, if we close on time, uh, then we can meet, right? The problem with that is what if the appraisal comes in low? What if the inspection doesn't go through? Now you haven't earned the right to meet with that agent called the deal didn't close, not your fault, not my fault, right? It's, it's, it's somebody else's issue, but now we're not meeting with the listing agent because it never closed. I like getting referrals from those listing agents before this deal closes. That way I'm working on at least two files with that listing agent. So if an appraisal issue happens with one of them or an inspection issue, uh, I'm still, I still have another deal you know, that, that I'm gonna be closing with that listing agent. Here's how we do it. Get a contract in, call the listing agent. Listing agent, I'd like to meet with you to go over our never miss a closing checklist. And so we're gonna go over this checklist, uh, uh, Mr. and Mrs. Listing Agent, and, and this will help ensure that we close on time. And uh, it just, we're gonna go over like, who's the title company, uh, who's the appraiser, who's the contact for the appraiser, uh, and all the contact information. We're gonna go over this checklist to make sure that we're all on the same page, it's not a mail away, or all these other things that can sometimes trip us up. And so if you and I meet together and go over this checklist, it helps ensure we close on time. Now, about half the time they'll say, sure, that's not like a great idea, Carl. Uh, can we just do it over the phone? And how I respond to that is, well, we could do it over the phone, but in my years of experience, how I help ensure that we close on time is for us to actually meet uh, in person. And I'd like to do it either this afternoon or, or, or tomorrow afternoon, like just as soon as possible to help ensure that we close on time so that you get more referrals from your seller and I get more referrals from, from the buying agent. And so almost always, like 75% of the time, that works, and we meet with a listing agent. We then meet with the listing agent, we go over the never miss a closing checklist, which I'm gonna give you a copy of, and, uh, and then once we've had that meeting with them, guys and gals, we have that face-to-face, -face, which is very, very, very powerful. We give them an amazing experience, and remember on one of the last quick hits, we give them updates once a week and asking for the business then. So you meet with them. That's a great way to uh, influence somebody is that face-to-face -face meeting. And we're meeting with them before closing because if you meet with them after closing, even if everything goes okay, dude, you're, you're old news, right? They're, they're too concerned about their next closing, not about what closed last week. You'll get a much higher percentage of those coffee meetings if you meet with the agent before it closed, soon as the contract comes in instead of after. And this little checklist will give you a good reason to have that meeting and then we do our follow-ups. And we'll, we'll talk more about follow-ups uh, coming up. So that's the quick hit, meet with a listing agent, and then start asking for the business. And the, one, the next quick hit that we're gonna talk about, how do you ask for business, right? And how do you do it in a cool way without seeming salesy? Um, so hey, I, I'm gonna give you a copy of this. There's a link somewhere here, just click the button, uh, and we're gonna email it, and we're gonna text it to you. We've had a couple people that we sent them the files, and they said the email blocked or something like that. So we're gonna do both. We're gonna email it to you and we're gonna text it to you uh, so that you can use this and you have my full permission to copy this and actually start using it. My name's Carl White. Click the button, get a copy of this, and I'll see you next week on your quick hit. This is Mortgage News Network.